What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and today I'm going to talk about what I believe is a very common myth when it comes to strength training and that is this idea that you have to train in low reps to develop your strength and that high reps are just for bodybuilders. You've probably heard that higher reps is sacroplasmic hypertrophy and lower reps trains myofibrillic hypertrophy. And this sounds great and it probably is true to some extent but what people don't tell you is that there's never been any evidence that you can train one without the other. So if you're developing myofibrillic hypertrophy then sacroplasmic is also being developed concurrently. Now can you emphasize one over the other? That's likely to be true. But the thought that you can completely separate the two is just false. See what people forget is that no matter your goal, all that matters is progression. If you progress, you're getting stronger. If you increase your 10 rep max, do you think that your 1 rep max isn't going to increase? Just because 8 to 12 reps is so-called hypertrophy and then 1 to 5 is strength? Now Olympic weightlifting is all about maximal strength and explosiveness. Yet the best weightlifter, his name is Kendrick Ferris, his coach is Dr. Kyle Pierce, and he writes about some of the benefits of higher rep training. See, they actually incorporate 10 rep max squat sets at the start of their training cycle. And their coach talks about how some of the benefits are for body composition and then also to prevent injuries. And personally, I believe that preventing injuries is a great reason to do higher reps. Because if you're always handling weight that's near your max, you're increasing the likelihood that something bad could happen because eventually that will wear you down. So when working with higher reps, it allows you to keep the effort up but reduce the strain on your central nervous system. And also, I do believe that body composition is extremely important when it comes to strength. If you only focus on neural efficiency and never focus on hypertrophy at all, I think that that will hurt you in the long run, just like it'll hurt a bodybuilder if all they focus on is higher reps and they never work in lower reps. So we took a look at a weightlifter, now let's take a look at the world record bench presser, and that's Eric Spoto. And what I think is very interesting is that he actually works with incredibly high reps and extremely high volume. If you read about his training and watch some of his videos, you'll see that he does some reps with actually 20 or more reps even. So it definitely shows you that there's not just one way, you don't have to just do one rep max triples to increase your strength that you can incorporate a bunch of different styles in order to keep progressing. And the last example I'll use is an excerpt from an interview with one of the best, if not the absolute best powerlifter of all time, and that is Lamar Gant. Uh, I do very high reps, I do very low reps. High reps meaning I do sometimes 25 repetitions. Uh, low meaning I do triples, uh, sets of triples. So, uh, and I do assistant exercises, but they vary as well. So the point of this video isn't to tell you that you have to train with higher reps or that you can't use lower reps. The point of this is the opposite. It's just to open up your mind and to focus on progression. And don't get too lost in these arbitrary numbers specifying exactly what rep ranges do what. That all that matters is progressing in the gym and you gradually want to work towards your goal. So if your goal is to increase your one rep max, then throughout your training cycle, you want to eventually work in those lower rep ranges. So that's it, guys. I hope this helped. Like the video, support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Well, I think I'm wasting time on the phone with my pops. Like, I just want to save some lives. I just want to do some ride with the wrongs I was built. My pride might be my downfall, but I ain't asking for help.